but that was just yeah. you know, a few months after the end of '93. So, um, anyway, all right. When was the first version of Fedora Core released? And again, we'll take just a year. <laughs> 2002. Get down to the century. <laughs> okay, uh, from now on, just add one to your guess. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you're thinking of first, just add one to it. Okay. Right. <laughs> it is 2003. Okay. Fedora Core. And they dropped the core in 2003. Yes. And here's a bonus. Uh, what was that particular release called? What was the release name? Code name. The code yeah, name. the code name. Anybody of it. know offhand? Was it? Okay, here are two choices. Hyacinth or Yarrow? Which one was Yarrow. it? Yarrow. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, what was, um, let's see here. Oh, what was the, uh, Ubuntu. Okay. What was the name of the first release, the first product release, you know, where it was available for users uh, of Ubuntu? The question is when. When? Oh, it was two. It's two questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, what was the first code name for you? Wordy Word. Yeah. And when was that released? Um, I'm gonna, okay, subtract a year from your <laughs> 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 Well, see, he had it right, but Matt told him they had a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of screwed that up. So anyway, those are just some little questions we had uh, for our uh, His Little Life segment. That's yep. all I got. So thank you, everybody, for, uh, for participating. participating. Yeah, I think uh, Brian and Kevin came out on top. I think you guys came out even. So, so we're not sure what you, you would have written. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring an antidote. Antidote. <laughs> participating in that and I guess we'll go on to to listener feedback and the first one we have is from John and he says uh, thanks for uh, paraphrasing me so last week we got feedback from him and uh, I don't think he appreciated me paraphrasing he wanted me to read word for word his uh, comment. Oh, so what, what was his comment? In that theme, I'm paraphrasing him again. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it up entirely this time. <laughs> where, did we, where did we get that? Uh, this comment or the previous one? Um, either. The, well, this one was uh, Google Plus. Okay, that's why. Uh, and so he says everybody loves to be paraphrased. Uh, but his previous comment was about uh, Ubuntu GNOME. Mm -hmm. And how it was previously, it was not an official Ubuntu release, and with 15.04, it is now an official Ubuntu release. And he says, uh, As for who cares, he cares. I thought it was Mate. No, it was no. It was Mate. It was Mate. Mate. Your show notes. All right. <laughs> 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 it was Mate. Right. We'll fix that in post. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get another letter next week. <laughs> uh, what else is coming up? We, have, we had a donation. Yeah, from Sean. That's right. And yes. That was, very, that was very nice of him. Yep, and his link to our show is what? Or to you, Matt? Oh, he works at the same place I work at. Right, and? The story. Oh, the story about how he found the podcast. If you go to Google Images, and I'm not sure why this happens, and Google the company's name where I work, my image comes up <laughs> recording the show. And that's how he found out about the podcast. Oh, you must have worn a t-shirt that time. I have no idea. No, it doesn't actually do an image. It's There's, yeah, it's just a, a picture of me in front of a look, mic. <laughs> look, at your lap, look at your laptop, Matt. You no, can't see it in that picture. Oh, it's because, okay. the page, <laughs> it's the, because the page was our like bio for our, our website, for smr.us. And on it, he says... Oh, yeah, and on it, it says where I work, work so... Yeah. Oh, that's probably why. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there, there it is. Yeah. 
Uh, so bad. You quite a woolly beard then. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, does your boss know that the, uh, that when somebody searches for your, uh, you know, company's the, image, they get me? No, <laughs> they get, let's well, keep it that way. <laughs> and they get the podcast. I mean, yeah. your boss listens to the podcast. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we want to say thank you again to Sean. Um, we had one from Paul G. Yeah, and Matt, last week you had mentioned uh, PDA, which I think is what I heard at a stroke. Like you're referring to the patient. That was the that was the, oh, med the, the, the medical the, segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's medical segment. Right. Bulbar or something, affect or something. We laugh uncontrollably. That's what thought, but he, we or so you were PBA. That's what you're going for, right? Yes. And he thought you were talking about PDA. Oh no. It's, Pseudo, pseudo bulbar affect is what I was talking about. Uh, all right. Yeah, because Matt was like, Using a fun pilot will give you a stroke. Or <laughs> 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 public display of affection can give people strokes, depending on how much affection yeah, it's going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, what else do we have? And we also had uh, from Brad. Mm -hmm. Mary and I talked back and forth with him quite a bit because oh, well, yeah. he, he talked to both of us. He said, I'll read mine. He said, Matt, I'll bet you just love Postgres SQL's comp file. Because I had mentioned in the last, last show I did a review of, or the show before last, sometime recently, <laughs> I did a review of Michael Lucas's new book, Tarsnap Mastery. And I mentioned how with Tarsnap, the default comp file left a little bit to be desired because it's very sparse. And I like comp files that are very verbose, have a lot in them, but comment it out. Like list all their defaults in them, but they're commented out so it lets you know what you can change. And uh, he says Postgres does that. And I said, okay, I don't use Postgres SQL either. <laughs> <laughs> and then he also had something for Mary in there. Yes. He asked Mary, how much traction do you think the Indian government is going to get oh. with the open source edict? Yeah, they, they had, uh, and that was in response to a news story I had uh, shared regarding uh, the Indian government uh, mandating uh, open source um, with the various, I think, uh, Right, and if you, if you chose not to use open source, you better have a really good justification as to why. You know, man, I got a question. What's the date on that email? I don't know. Because I'm April twenty sure, second. Pretty sure this was all the feedback we talked about on the last show. No, it was April twenty second. It was only a couple of days ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, maybe you continue because we talked about the same two things. So maybe you guys continued a conversation. I have no idea, but he sent the email to us on April twenty second. Oh, all right. I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. Um. Is that pretty much uh, wraps up there? I think that's it. Okay. Uh, I was going to get some music, but I did not need to run into uh, a friend yet that we met. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a little interview with him. He's a nerdcore rapper. Uh, his band is 2D6. Uh, and they're on, uh, they're on Bandcamp. Uh, and as I look through his music, it has uh, all rights reserved. Yeah, but it's his oh. his license is all rights reserved. Right. So, so I we can't use his music. Yeah, I'm not gonna be clearing for him to use the music. So I think we're gonna have a surprise. Uh, we're gonna have a surprise outro song. That's right. We're gonna roll the dice, and it'll be in the edited show. So, okay. All right. All right. All right. I guess we're ready to wrap. Yeah. So. You have been listening to the Sunday Morning Linux Review. This was episode 150. Hangbook 2015. Woohoo! Yeah. So